Arcana932 here, and um, it's another little Minecraft video. As you can see, I have a new snapshot. It's Thursday. No, it's Friday. Stupid. Um, well, no, not you, not you. I'm the stupid one. <laughs> um, anyway, we have 12W34B, which um, supposedly means that there's a bunch of bug changes, and I just got like a blue flashy thing. I don't know if you guys saw that. So anyway, we'll go to single player. I was gonna create a new world. Um, we'll call this um. 12 W 34 A. Uh, just throw that in creative. Make this super flat. Uh, generate structures. Yeah, yeah. Make the better stress. Why not? Uh, create new world. So I'm going to be going over the snapshot. This is my first snapshot video, so it's going to go insanely slowly. But please feel free to leave suggestions. Um, oh, look, there's torches around it. And yeah, axes are just so helpful in this world. Um, anyway. I'm going to pull up the Reddit page, and let's see just what we have. Okay, so, um, I, I don't know if this was added last time, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to say everything on the Reddit page. Here, let's just turn this on to peaceful. That way we don't have any annoying slimes. Um, so anyway, uh, let's see. So we have mobs wearing hats will not burn up. Instead, all damage will be applied to the helmet. So, tuck slash T-I-M-E. No, 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 no. Yeah, T-I-M. I-M-E. S-E-T. Let's use 1700. Um. Set time. No. Uh. I am such a derp. Okay, well, anyway, um, I can just demonstrate that later. Um, anyway, we have Villager's Green Particle Effect now stays longer. Um, I, I don't know what that means, but it, it means something. So, yeah. Hey, don't don't kill me. I'm a clueless little boy. Um, okay, I can show you this. Added full screen and V-Sync to the video settings. So if we were to click options, video settings, we have full screen. I can click it off. And don't worry. Um, if I were to click on full screen off, it goes to my second monitor, which is kind of odd. Uh, use VSync. I'm pretty sure that just like limits your FPS, which is a terrible idea, as far as I go. Um, right. Okay. Um, this is something that I do want to show you guys because it is awesome. So now, last time they added these potions of invisible no night vision. So here, here we have a potion of night vision in the daytime. Just toss these. Heart's content. However, to make one of these, all you need is, let's say, a water... Oh, uh, look, night vision. I'm so special. Um, right here. Let's get us a brewing stand. So we'll get us a brewing stand. Here, I'm just going to cut out the video. Okay, guys, I'm back. I don't know if you just heard that thing that just said I'm back because I don't know if it cut out. Um, here, let's see what my render's at. I'm just gonna dump it on like tiny or or short. Yeah, that works. Okay. Anyway, so let's get my water bottle out. Throw down some nether wart. It's gonna brew up. And in the meantime, um, there's a new boss called the Wither Boss. Ah! Ah! Uh, yeah. Um. Anyway, the Wither Boss. You can check that out on Ant Venom's video, cause no one else has actually posted anything about it. Also, actually, Seth Bling has a video on it too, cause uh, he made a map. So anyway, um, to make our night vision potion, all we do is we have an awkward potion, which is brewed by putting a water bottle in your brewing stand, throwing down a bit of nether wart, and then we can throw down a golden carrot. And I'll explain that right now. So. Let's get us a um, hoe, and uh, let's just search carrot. So we now have carrots. Look at that, and we also have potatoes. So we have a potato, a baked potato, and a poisonous potato. So I'm just gonna till two little bits of land. Throw down our carrots. Throw down our potato. Oh, um, not. Okay then. Um, anyway, let's hit them with some bone meal. So B O N E for bone meal. And um, this is what they look like when they're fully grown. 
Um, you get potatoes and carrots. It's a rare drop from zombies. At least I've heard. And when you harvest them, um, as far as carrots goes, you get, um, it says here, two to four. And, um, let's, let's see what potatoes say. Um, potatoes, it says, uh, drops one to four. Uh, sometimes when you get a, when, sometimes when you harvest your potatoes, you will get a poisonous potato. And that, well, it, it poisons you. What do, what do you expect? Um, yeah, I just screwed gla glass. Yeah, sure. Um, anyway, to bake your potato, as you can see here, you can, yeah, I mean, you can bake your potato. That, that's kind of obvious. You just put your, not poison, your, uh, potato in a, in a furnace. And then you throw down, like, wood or coal or whatever you want to bake your potato with. Um, there. Um, right, let's see. So, carrots can be planted on hydrated soil. Oops. Um, that's probably why it popped off. Um, when fully grown, drops two to four carrots. Um, when you break these in survival mode, um, it will always give you a carrot back. At least, as far as Paul Soares found out. I I'm just kind of going on other YouTubers. Um... So let's see what else we have here. Um, so I I've kind of gone off of the wither, and I'll, I'll just kind of go around like this. Um, so you guys know how we had the um, previously we had our golden apples, our old golden apples. Well, not old really. Um, it's more like the new and D unimproved golden apples. Just get myself black gold, and. Um, we can kind of do the same thing with a carrot. Yep, you heard me right. That's, this is how you make yourself a golden carrot. So, we're just going to surround a carrot, some carrots, with gold, and we'll get, like, a knife. But it's it's actually a carrot. And I, I'll eat this later. Um, I'll pause it. Oh. Maybe maybe it's, like, a hoe. Yeah, like, I, I have a... I, I have a... Wait. Can I plant this? No. Unless it needs water, and I don't have water. Um, I get, I'm I'm actually interested. Can I can I plant my my golden potato? Here, you be hydrated. In the meantime, um, let's go through um, let's go through uh, more carrots. Um, carrots will give you three hunger things here that aren't here because I'm in creative. But normally you have your hunger bar, and if um two of those are gone, a normal carrot will restore those two. It's like an apple. A golden carrot will restore three, and it has no special effects as far as people have found. Um, potatoes can be planted on hydrated soil. They drop one to four. I'm sure I've already said that. No, can't plant that. Aha! Can I? No, I can only put potatoes. Um, anyway, uh, potatoes uh, will sometimes drop poisoned potatoes, which I have here. They're like green, and they'll give you poison. Um... They'll give you half a hunger point, but poisoned potatoes will give you one hunger point and have a chance to poison you, and baked potatoes will give you three hunger points. So I'm going to... Actually, no. Let's get back to the wither boss. Okay. Um, anyway, so with the wither boss, each head will fire projectile at a target, and it is hostile towards passive mobs and you. It has 350 health points, it can break blocks, and um, when you're hit by one of his like little cannonballs, it looks like one of his three heads, I guess I'll show a picture at the end, um, it will give you the wither effect, which is essentially just poison, but it's a lot slower, and it makes your heart go black. Sorry about that. Um, and the projectiles are actually called wither skulls. Derp. Um, there's two debugging options. So um, if you press F3 and P, so, F3P, um, supposedly, it will, like, I, I don't know, but, um, it it's supposed to do this. Uh, either way, um, F3 plus P will toggle the auto-pause when the window loses focus, so I, I don't know what that means. Um, I I'm just an idiot. And F3, F3 plus H will toggle, um, item descriptions, so if I were to press F3H, um, yeah, see, you can see how there's, like, a longer longer um thing there cuz normally let's press F3H again see it just says that but when i was having it so you know what i mean uh hopefully um 
Oh yeah, so I, I'm really excited about this. I, I really like this. So let's just search TR for trapdoors. Um, and let's just kind of let's, let's make a little platform here. You know, like something you might find in an adventure map. Uh, it's like a shower, I guess. Yeah, look at that. You can place trapdoors on the top, so it's like a normal trapdoor. You just walk right over it. Uh, previously, it was more like uh, can't do that. It was more like that. And they both close like so. But you know what I was thinking is... Adventure map right here. All you have to do is... Someone's walking over here. There's a proximity detector. And they're walking over here because there's like walls here and they can't go over it or break them. And so yeah, they're walking over. And there's there's lava underneath the, the trapdoors. And... And there's a proximity detector, and then the trapdoors open, and they fall to their death again. Um, yeah, I, I, I am making an adventure map called the Poodle, so you have to check out that. I'll make a video. Um, I'll probably also post it on. Uh, but I'm getting out of it. Um, but anyway, the placement of this it works kind of like stairs. Um, but if you look, I mean, it, it's flush with the block. You just walk right across. There's no bump. It's like, oh, what did I just hit? Um, anyway. Uh, the beacon block, the work in prog- I keep doing that. The, um, the work in progress block that you guys may have seen from some other person's snapshot, which I won't be surprised because this is my first snapshot. Um, the beacon block, the work in progress that you put on the Pyramid of Emeralds, has been removed from the creative menu. Um, of course, I never actually played on any of the other snapshots, so I never knew it was in there. Um, and now I'm- I can't talk, uh, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, um, I'm back. Just had a drink of water. And I probably won't pause out of that for now. Um, um, anyway. Yeah, um, so yeah, as I said before, zombies will rarely drop them. I'm not gonna demonstrate that. Just take my word for it. I'm reading it off of Reddit, and a hundred other people have said it. So! Um, just gonna press escape and scroll down on the Reddit page. Oh, oh, this I was also insanely excited for. Again, for the adventure map prospect. So, let's search W-O-O-D. Now, you might have noticed that you can't what? Maybe, maybe I can find it under There we go, okay. Oh, it's just called button. It's not called button, but, uh, derp. So anyway, we now have this wooden button. And it's just like a normal button, it's possible to see. Um, let's just get, I don't know, TNT! Yes, I like TNT. TNT is fun. Um, but anyway, that's just like a normal button. Um, you can press it, and it'll, it'll make red stuff. Yes, yeah, so you can, you just heard it, see, look. See? There you go. Um, and then, another thing that I was really excited about for this, I'm, I'm really excited for most of this, I mean, well, 1.4 is going to be insane. Look. The TNT is going off! Oh, and, um, now that I've brewed, look, I have a potion of night vision. Um, that was made with the golden carrot and the awkward potion. Um, so there's my potion of night vision. And if I were to drink that, Look at that! It's day! It's daytime! It's not nighttime! It's daytime! Um... Right, I was also... Okay, there, there's a couple more things I'm gonna have to demonstrate. Um, I, I wish I could get rid of that. It's kind of annoying, actually. I, I like the original night. Um, so now that my, uh, explanation area has been destroyed by my demonstration, um, let's go farther back. So, um... Uh, okay. So next on the page is Invisibility Potions. So, I, I'm pretty sure these are potions that are make you invisible. Um, yeah, there it is. Invisibility potions. Now, um, before I do this, I'm going to first get rid of all this crap, except for the golden carrot and all these potatoes. Um, first, what I'm going to do is get that. Um, set up my little area again, farther away from the TNT. Um, so let's just throw down this. Now, in theory, what you're supposed to do is, after you've made your night vision potion, you put that down, and, um, it was a fermented spider eye. Let's see if this works. Let's see. Um, fermented spider eye, plus, yeah, I th that'll give us a potion of invisibility. And, um, now what I'm going to show you is, before we even start to talk about this amazing potion, which is very obvious, 
I'm going to show you something amazing. So now if I were to go into combat, now if you look, leather armor is a bit darker, and on the tunic, you can see that it has like buttons. Um, so now I'm going to get all this stuff. And, hmm, I don't know, let's, let's make this a different color. Yes, you can dye your armor of leather. Um, so, I don't know, I, I like the color red, so I don't know, maybe a piece of red dye, and uh, maybe an ink sack for ink, and how about some pink, because that rhymes. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe, maybe the lapis, and then I guess we can have the normal piece. So let's pick up all these dyes, and just dump to our crafting table. So, I don't know, how about blue suede shoes? Yeah! So, as you can see, all I did was put the dye in there. Oh, look, I can get darker leather bits. Um, all I did was put the dye in with the average thing, and um, you get dyed boots, and it says dyed. So, yeah. There you go. Um, so I can get, like, I don't know, a red hat, and it'll be red. That actually kind of looks like the uh, previous texture for the, um, you know, for the thing. Um, I, I can get some some leather pants. I can get some ink sacks. There no, oh, okay. Uh, there, there, there you can see the night potion. It's worn off. It's pretty cool. So now I can wear, I could have, like, all black clothes. Look, I, I'm dressed, uh, I'm a Steve, and I'm dressed up to go to dinner. This is actually very good, like, you could have, like, a tuxedo. You know, that'd be pretty cool. Um, anyway, let's go check on our potion. Look at that! Invisibility potion! So, um, I'm gonna drink the one that we just brewed, which was, um, let's go over this. So, first, what we did was, we got a water bottle, and we put it down here. Then, we got another wart, and put it up here. And after that, it brewed, giving us an awkward potion! Then, what we did was, we made a night vision potion. And, um, I literally just forgot how to do that. Uh, night vision potion. Golden carrot! We took this golden carrot, which was crafted by harvesting carrots from zombies, then putting them in the ground, and growing them. Then we surrounded it with gold nuggets, and made the equivalent golden carrot of a golden apple. Then what we did was we brewed this with a night vision potion, and got us an invisibility potion. And what does this do, you ask? Well, where'd my hand go? That's right. I'm invisible. Um, so now, I don't know, I could, like, take off these, like, you know, there's, there's, there goes my midsection. You can just kind of see into my, M oh, wow, that's, that's what the bottom, Minecraft, you forgot to die those, wait, what, no, um, so yeah, now I'm, now I'm just slightly invisible, the invisible man, and actually, it's funny, because when I was watching Paul Swords Jr., um, Paul Swords Jr.'s, uh, video, Oi, guys, you, you should check him out. He's an awesome YouTuber. Um, he he was talking about the uh the the green pants. That was pretty funny. Um, it's an interesting symbol. Anyway, this is another thing that I'm like really excited about, and um, this is something that's awesome. So let's just get myself like a a nice stone wall. I don't know. Um, I guess right here. Let me turn. Let me turn my render down even more. So I'm running all these things on my bad computer and doesn't like it. So, you might have noticed when I click this, there's like this thing. And it's called an item frame. And I can just like cover the wall with these. And um, what you can do is you can place items in them. Like you can place an item frame. And yeah. If you right click, it'll change the direction. So, um, I was thinking of this. And you could have like an arrow. So you could have like a sign right there that says um, like armory or something. And then you could have like your your arrow going that way, yeah. And then like if you, I were to put in a 3D block, like a crafting table, um, it actually sticks out. Now something to note: um, if I were to get like 64 spruce saplings, oh uh, well, it's because I'm not. In, I think it's. Um, I'm pretty sure that it like just takes them all. Uh, you can't actually get them back. I don't think. Oh, well, you might be able to, but I, I'm uncreative. Like I could put in a wooden button. That looks like a wheel. Th there you go! Th these are our new wheels in Minecraft. Look at that. Um, but what's like the coolest things about this um, is if I were to. Oh, uh, no, it's a miscellaneous. Sure, this will. Um, if I were to search, let's say, compass. Just got a compass. Um, clock, maybe? 
um, and a map. Empty map. I'll explain that later. Um, we can put this in. So that will point to the spawn point, as you can see. Matches the compass in my hand. Um, I could get a clock if I wanted to. If I wanted to, I could! Um, I could get a clock, and then this could be like a clock, and it tells time. See? Same. Same time. Um, I'm clicking. And then, this is, there's this. It's an empty map. Now, before, previously, you would just kind of make a map, and there's your map, and then you'd be like, okay, well, I just filled up my map, and now I have to go half the distance of this map so that I can get this map to be equal. Not anymore, buddy! Um, what you do is you make this empty map, and then what you, uh, what you do is you right-click, and it will give you this map. And then it just takes the exploring aspect completely out, because it just loads the entire thing in for you. And as you can see, it decides to load you somewhere. So, as you can see, I am loaded kind of in the top left corner. And it loads, um, I just said top, yeah. If it loads most of the map for you, and as you can see, it's very small. Each pixel is actually a block. And you can expand this, but it's, it's very nice for detailed stuff. And as you can see, it is actually loading in the stuff that I put down. So, um, now, oh, another thing to note is, here, let's get me another one of these, um, M-A-P, you can actually clone these as well, so I'm just gonna get, like, a bunch of these, um, but anyway, what I can do is, if I look at this, I have my blank dot, so, it shows me where I came out, so as I'm walking, it just turns into, like, a square, so I can take out a new empty map, right-click on that, and it'll give me the rest of the chunks, but guess where I am? Guess where I am? I'm right down there, where I left right here. Um, yeah, yeah, that epic. So now maps are just like so much, they aren't nearly as annoying. Another thing you can do is, let's say I wanted like a couple of these. Um, yeah, yeah, I could make like a million maps. Yeah, screw every- oh, I need more maps. Um, whatever. But like, look at that. Look, and then- I can perhaps put that on a wall so everyone can see where I've been and maybe maybe I can um maybe I can clone this one too oh our crafting area was taken away dang it um I, I don't know if that's like a bug or something um another thing I can do is I could make maybe maybe some of these and then maybe I could like put that down and then you can see the world and you could just cover all of these with maps you know cuz I'm crazy like that um, another thing that I should probably mention is if you take this map and surround it with empty maps, or maybe it's paper. Oh, look at that! I, ca I can get nine maps for the price of nine. Um, it's paper. So let me just search P A P E R. So let's get a bunch, a bunch of paper. And um, if I were to surround one of these maps with some paper. I get a map. Now you're th probably thinking, well, why would you do that? That's just stupid. You're just getting a map back. It's dumb. And why would you do that? Well, this map is bigger. So you can get, like, extra large maps. You know, superstore, supersized. Supersize me! No. Um, anyway, so these are the item frames. As you can see, it sticks out. A couple of interactive kind of items. You can change these. So you can have upside down, whatever's. Now, um, oh, right. So let's go into decoration blocks and check out this new flower pot. So, I mean, anything you can put on the ground, really. Uh, well, plant, I guess I should say. So, you know, your mushrooms, your, your dead bushes, all this stuff. Just right-click to put it down. comes with soil in it. Just throw these down. Great for decoration. You can even put dead bushes in them. And, um, here's how you craft them. So if I were to search B-R-I-C-K... I get bricks, and I need three of these. I need three bricks. And with my bricks, I can make a flower pot. And this flower pot will serve me forever. It will make my life amazing, and I will put everything in the flower pots! Um, yeah. You can throw mushrooms. No, you can't put in po You can't put in potatoes! I guess that's the one... One bad thing. Um, right, I should probably show you how to make those. So, item frames are very simple. Um, I'm just going to get, like, a bunch of wood, because that's easier. And then let's search L-E-A, and then we'll get some leather. Escape. And it's 
really kind of exactly like a painting. So we'll just same thing as painting right here. And then instead of wool, just throw down some leather leather yeah. leather and then you just get your item frame, you you place it however you want, wherever, and then you just dump in your bit of dirt or maybe maybe um maybe a mushroom. Oh that that's actually quite pretty. Maybe a creeper. Um Another thing I should mention, and I'm putting this in my adventure map, um, if I were to get a creeper spawn egg, and this is, this is scary, um, if I were to get a splash potion of invisibility, you guys can see what I'm doing here. Oh, it's unpeaceful. DARP! Um, there, just throw it on easy. So if I were to dump all these guys in here, bang, 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 where'd they go? See? That is scary right there. That is scary. Um, invisible creepers. They're moving landmines. Um, right, so, oh, I have invisibility who now, so they, oh, oh, another thing to notice, note about invisibility is, um, here, I still have, I still have it, so, let's just say, um, we'll just use a, no, because they're passive. Uh, yeah, we'll just use a creeper. Um, creeper. So now, if I were to spawn Mr. Creeper, if you look, um, I still have invisibility. So talk slash tab game mode survival. Oh, oh no, oh no, no! That's not supposed to happen. Oh, it's because I'm wearing armor, isn't it? Okay, but um, anyway, what what happens is um. Um, I I'm invisible. You can't see me! However, if I punch him or nudge him, he knows exactly where I am. Um, so yeah, that's invisibility. So, talk, tab, slash, tab, 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 creative. Uh, let's just dump this back onto peaceful so I don't have all these creeping slimes. These creeping slimes. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I've now gone over flower pots. So, oh, this update is big. Let's search. Yep, you heard me right. Walls. We have walls, baby. Walls galore. Look at these. Look. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I, I can make a wall that's not made of a fence. These these interlatch, the, the two different types. You can put them on each other, I think. Yeah. And, um, what I was thinking, I'm surprised that no one else thought of this, um, on the YouTubers, um, all the big people. Um, look at this. I, I, I have a cobblestone pillar that's not a block wide! Look at that! Um, that's exciting. So, now, um, I already went over the diable armor. I already went over the invisibility. Um, dog collars. Pretty cool little update. So, it's got a couple bones. Uh, is that a wolf? No, that's a ghast. Not exactly a wolf. Uh, that's a wolf. So let's let's get us a a, a wolf. Let's make you tame. Now if you look, eh, okay, you got a red collar. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys can probably tell where I'm going. Um, if I were to somewhat, uh, let's say, hmm, I I want you to be like an, a secret agent. So I did that. I I want you to be a secret agent. Um, so maybe, maybe I have, maybe I want a pink dog. Oh yeah! You're pink! But then he's like, no, I don't want pink! So I make him black, and he's like, oh yeah! So, um, that, that's, that's dog dying for you. Um, oh yeah, the maps, they can be shared. I, I guess that means that they're shareable. Um, now something very cool that I, they were not gonna keep this, but I, I really do hope they, that they do. Um, I'll just demonstrate it with a couple different types of stairs, but watch this. So, maybe, maybe I'll just do this, and it's like, maybe, you know, and then it's like, oh, I have to do a slab, but look at that! Carving stairs, baby! Um, so yeah, I can, I can make my stairs, I can make like a roof, that, that looks like a roof. That looks like a roof! And it works with all of them. Like, say, I mean, just, it's kind of weird, but, 
It's kind of weird because I was just staying in one spot, but there you go. So now I have like this large couch that I can just kind of kick back on. A and maybe, maybe I can make like a chimney swift style. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That is an armchair. And that's a normal armchair. Um, so it works with all types of stairs. They might remove it. No one knows. Um, there are... There's not much else. I mean, okay, so if I were to put it in hard, so here, I'll just give myself a bit of wood. Um, so I'm going to make two identical statues. Uh, let's make a statue. Um, there, there you go. And now let's make one, two, oh, no. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. But, um, now... Uh, let's just search for a flint and steel. And now I am in normal. No, I'm in peaceful. Um, so let's go to normal. Set that on fire. Set on fire. Now, watch how long this takes to burn. So, I mean, it, it's spreading pretty fast. I mean, it, it's not exactly slow. They may have nerfed fire, but it, it's still pretty powerful. However, now, that took maybe... Uh, it didn't take very long. So, now, let's see what happens if I were to, I don't know, um, put this on hard. Yes, that's right. Fire spreads more vigorously on hard mode. So, I mean, there you go. It's it's already, like, all over the place. Um, it's just spreading to- Yeah, look at that, okay. The entire thing is on fire. By the time that one has maybe burned two pieces. The entire thing is on fire. That That's a lot of- It's a lot. Um... They partially cured lighting glitches, and they fixed um, the zombies that weren't burning in the sun. Um, what else? Uh, this can't be it. I mean, it, it's what this is. This is the future, people. Although I am on file seven. So, anyway, here's the slimes. Um, supposedly the villagers were supposed to like make their tradey thing more frequently, but whatever. Uh, I don't. I don't really know. Um. Um, so yeah, I mean, there, there's your stairs and everything. Um, uh, if I forgot anything, I'll be right back. Hey guys, um, I'm back. I forgot something very important. Well, a couple things, actually. Uh, here, I'm gonna just go to... Peaceful again. Video settings, um, I'm just going to reset this and dump it on short. Um, anyway. Uh, these, they act like fences. Um, yeah, can't jump over them, sorry. Um, not only that. I'm going to keep my flint and steel in hand. Let's just search obsidian. So, let's make your... Your average... No, it's too wide, you dark face. Um, your average portal, you know... It's probably too big. If it is... Yeah, okay, there you go. So now, you know, you enter your portal, all that guard garbage. But, um, let's say, let's say you, um, you have your potato, and you, you throw it into the portal. Um, what's well, just gonna go onto the other side? But let's, let's say you threw it onto the bottom of the portal, hmm? W where'd my potato go? I, I just lost my potatoes. Well, could they have possibly gone into the nether? That's right. Now entities will go through portals. So um, that, that was a really bad demonstration because my potatoes just kind of went away. But um, I I'll demonstrate it better now. So I'm just going to get a bit of water. And um, I'll just show you what I'm going to do. Um, no, don't suck me up again. Gosh, it's really annoying. Um, so I'm just going to have, like, I don't know, this. And then... Like something like this, um, and then I guess let's see. How about some liquids? Go down some liquids and spawn. I don't know a pig. So you'll notice the pig is not here. Where is he gone? Could he be in the Nether? That's Possible! Nothing can go to the nether but you! They were talking about pig- Oh, it's a pig! There you go. Pigs go through.
both ways. Um, which I would assume means your wolves can come with you as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's mobs and entities, so my potatoes might actually still be here. Um, this is taking a very long time. Why is this happening? Is this, like, completely glitched out? That was, that was weird. Um, okay then. Oh, no, F1. No, 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 no! No! What? Um, anyway, so now that we're back to the real world, um, stop it, you stupid thing. Well, anyway, now that that demonstration is done, um, 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 hey guys, uh, I realized that there wasn't really all that much that I actually missed. Um, I am going to go over the Wither Boss real quick, and then I'm going to give you the link to Ant Venom's video. Um, and I'm also going to give you the link to Paul Soares Jr.'s Snapshot, and Chimney Swift 11's. Um, if you guys have not seen their channels, why? Um, they have awesome little Let's Plays, and all that crap. But anyway, um, thanks you guys, thanks for watching. Um... And I just said that too early, because I still need to explain the Wither Boss! Which I have already said. Um, either way, as I have said, he um, attacks all passive mobs, but um, aggressive mobs to people, to players, like, like, um, like, 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 um, like me. Apparently I'm, I'm Steve. I hate being Steve. Um, anyway. Like the, the the players, we um were attacked by him too, but not not the evil mobs. Nope, nope, nope. So I went. Um, I am going to do two things real quick. I do want to demonstrate what happens when you're eating Mr. Potato and um. Yeah, it's just kind of food stuffs. Oh, okay. So yeah, I mean, obviously you can eat it. So um, we'll have a golden carrot, carrots, a potato, a big potato. We already have a poisonous potato, and um, um, yeah. Uh, I'll be right back when my hunger's done, uh, survival, and I need to change it, okay, here, let's see, time, set, zero, there go, um, right, so options, easy, done, escape, I'll be right back, um, he hello, uh, another thing I did want to notice, um, I'll tell you guys, really, is, um, in, in F5 mode, if you're running and jumping, your your potato will make weird movements, like it's irregular circles here. Just put that on tiny real quick. But see, it, it makes like irregular circles. Try it for yourself. Um. Run away! Okay, guys. Um, I'm currently starving to death. Um, so I'm gonna let myself starve to death here. Normal. Um, let's have some things do me some damage. Can anybody damage me? Hmm. I should drown myself or something. Okay, here, I have an idea. I'll also make it so that's possible to get out. But I'm drown, young one. Drown, drown. Be hurted. Um. Now I'll start taking like double damage, I guess, because I'm. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Okay, so um, let's let's put it at easy. Uh, uh. Okay. Anyway, let's eat the poisonous potato. Oh no. Okay. Well, that gave me one hunger, and it poisoned me for a little bit. But um, uh, I I had a half heart left. So now let's eat the raw carrots. Um, that gave us two. So that's not amazing. Let's have a raw potato. They gave us half um, rotten flesh. We already know. Uh, that gave us. Um, they were at like. These things are really starting to scare me. I'm. I'm actually like worried. 
so worried that I'm 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 literally entering the nether for my life. That, that's how worried I was. Oh no, oh no. I can't I can't Oh, okay, good, good. How was I slain by a slime? Okay. Let me res I can't respawn. It is impossible for me to respawn. That is that is screwed up. How does that even work? How does that even work? I, it's impossible for me to respawn. Um. Er, oh. Okay, guys. Uh, sorry about that. Um, don't know how I was slain by slime. But, um, here, let me just jump onto here. Um, I had eaten a potato. And that gave me... Uh, let's see, I, I'm just checking Reddit now. Um... That gave me three hunger points, and I really do want to see what is a what does a golden carrot do? You know, like what? Just what does a golden carrot do? Um, <clears throat> so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I have golden carrots. I am taking damage ever so slowly. I wish I'd given myself like a poison potion. <sighs> I'll be back. Okay, well I decided I was hurt enough to try this out because I'm worried that those things will eat will kill me. So let's see this. It gave me three and did nothing. Wow, what a dud. Okay, guys, well that was snapshot. Um, I can't run anymore. Um, here, give me carrot. Give me carrot. That was snapshot. Um. I don't even remember. It was like 12W30, yeah, 12W3234, um, B. So thanks for watching, guys. I really do hope this started to clear things up. Um, bye, I guess. Thanks for watching. Check out Paul Swords Jr.'s channel. Check out, um, Ant Venom, if you haven't already. Check out, um, you know, Chimney Swift. I can't run anymore. A couple more potatoes. Potatoes are like the old cookie. Because now cookies give you one heart. So, one chicken thingy. Anyway, here's the poison potato again. Didn't give me poison that time. Anyway, just gonna run through here. Here, here, slime! Kill me! Kill me! Kill me! I'm invincible, I've eaten a golden carrot! <laughs> Um, I really did have quite a bit of fun of doing this, and I hope it really did help. Um, bye. Menu in his hand. Walking through the streets of Soho in the rain. He was looking for the place called Lee Ho Fuchs. <laughs>